Tonight, former Huntsville police officer William Ben Darby remains in the Limestone Correctional Facility, but that could soon change. An appeals court overturned his conviction this morning. Darby shot and killed a suicidal man when he responded to the man's home back in 2018. Darby says he was following policy and acting in self-defense. The Madison County District Attorney said other officers had the scene under control and Darby was wrong. A jury agreed and Darby was given a 25 year prison sentence. This morning, a state court overturned that conviction. We have team coverage of this story tonight. WAFA 48's Jaquan Lee spoke to Darby's legal team for their reaction. But we begin with WAFA 48's Claudia Peppenhorst live from the Madison County Courthouse. Claudia, you spoke to the district attorney about what this reversal actually means to them. Yes, Liz, and he says if there is a new trial, they will present their evidence and their case once again. However, the decision on whether or not Darby gets a new trial is not up to them. It's part of the system. There's always a possibility of a case getting reversed. That's what Madison County District Attorney Robert Broussard had to say about this case. Broussard called the ruling a technicality and that the evidence against Darby was not the problem. The judges ruled that jurors should have been told to consider the situation in the context of how a trained police officer should be trained. If I told you uh, I was so shocked or something, that, that would not be true, you know. Maybe I was somewhat surprised. I felt the proper instructions were probably given by the judge, and if the Court of Criminal Appeals says they weren't, then then so be it. Will League is a Huntsville attorney who has no connection to this trial. He says if there is a new trial, he expects the defense to push Darby's police training in their argument. I do believe that part of the defense will be he was trained to protect himself and others in that particular situation, and that he was following his training. If there is a change in the law, as a reasonable officer would do under these circumstances, maybe that might tweak the way they approach the case more. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Now, the state attorney general will decide whether or not to pursue a new trial against Darby. As for Broussard, he says he trusts the system. If, if according to the Court of Appeals, something was not done right, then we want it done right. So we'll be, we'll be ready as if this case had never been tried. Broussard told me that they presented everything they needed to in Darby's trial and that the evidence speaks for itself. Reporting live in Huntsville, Claudia Peppenhorst, 48 on your side.